Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are fine, I hope you guys are okay. So today we are going to see another video, another two actually for Red Team Operations. And this is very nice because like uh, we have the Community Edition. Okay, actually um, we can use to scan hosts, we can use to manage many machines inside if we have a pro version or paid version and also we can scan for website vulnerabilities okay I made a video about this too and I'm going to make a specific um, video series of videos about Qualys okay Qualys is the tool we are going to see today Qualys Community Edition so to to subscribe to Qualys, you have you need to have a, a domain name because they don't accept like a Gmail or ProtonMail or Hotmail. All right, you have to you need a corporate mail. I have one, so you can try like um, these temporary mails, okay? And then you can subscribe. So Qualys community edition All right subscribe subscribe All right so just check the community edition and then you can create your account All right so and then you can use it so today uh, we're not going to see about vmdr uh, vulnerability management and detection response All right we are going to see just the was web application scanning all right or we can use also web malware detection but this is more for blue team than for red team and the was is for red team because you can scan for vulnerabilities all right i have two or three websites here and well let me just stop this for a while because I have to remove because there are real websites right from my client so just a sec so there we go well I just deleted the scannings the web applications I had into my profile and well now we are going to create first we have to run a scanning a scan we have to create a web application all right, so let's say we're going to scan this IT sec games. Well, this hack me is not working no more. So anyway, we have this one too, defendtheweb.net. Okay, but we're going to use this one, itsecgames.com. We're going to create a new application. All right, so the name, I'm going to use the domain name and then here, we can use the the name for we can just put the URL, all right? And well, there's there's a thing. So we can create a specific tag. Let's say we want to create uh, tags for clients. We can create and add this tag to our website, right? When you f when we filter by tags this URL, this web application will appear because we just filtered by the tag we created right, I'm not going to create it but you can so next, well in the next one we have like limit uh, the crawl scope it means it's going to limit for what? the URL host name or the content located or below the URL subdirectories or the limit the, the URL to the host and specific subdomain. It means we have to specify subdomains, all right? But we are going standard, it's the first one. Well, explicit the URL to crawl and the rest paths and the parameters. We're not going because it doesn't has. And then crawl links, yes, we are going to crawl it. And sitemap, yes, we are going to do that too. Here we can add some script, all right? Selenium script like Python stuff. Uh, sorry, we are not going to do that here. 
on this video because as I told you guys I'm going to create a series of videos about Qualys and there I'm going to explain a very detailed application web application scanner right well the profile there is one two three initial was options room load that's my name and log shell option authentication test no because we're not trying to authenticate we're going to scan for vulnerability so I'm going to select initial was option all right so the scanner appliance is an external it's not an in individual because we had well we don't have a individual uh, scanner appliance or tag also we don't have so it's external one it means Qualys has his external scanner that's hosted in somewhere and then this is scan is going to run and start to scan like a very powerful any map Nikto and like sniper to get all the information all right duration well do not cancel scan perfect next one here we could use authentication if we had into the server but as you don't we don't have we're not going to use it so all right header injection we can just select here and put some injection here we're not going to try it api endpoint definition also we're not going to do that redundant links all this stuff we're going to turn let off so form training no path rule uh fusing rules we can enter a lot of um paths all right we believe that is in the website we are not going to do that neither right because we just want the vulnerabilities okay malware monitoring we can do a lot of stuff here so we are going to create the web application right here is the review and confirm from uh page and then we just create all right so soon as we create the application we just can come here and then run test authentication but as i told you guys we're not going to try authenticate anything uh we have vulnerability scan and this one we are going to use right so let's try it and now it's going to ask for the name of the the scan name we're going to use the application we're going to scan and then next well the option is the initial option uh we can select use it by default authentication we are not going to use any kind of authentication so next and then launch the scan so this is going will take a long long time all right so sometimes it's like 20 minutes sometimes it's two hours three hours and sometimes it's like 10 11 20 24 48 hours depends on the size of the web application right so i'm going to stop it here and then i'm going to uh post i'm going to download the results and then i'm going to post on my drive and share with you guys just for you guys to check out the vulnerabilities that we could find in this website okay so thanks a lot for watching this video i hope you guys liked it if you like my content just give me a like and share for friends uh well subscribe to my channel and well see you guys in the next video